Bones Hollow. Everything from ghosts to a goat man are said to haunt the woods. So it's the perfect place for Ken Ripple to set up his latest haunted attraction. Halloween is coming, and Ripple knows folks will come from miles around to walk down the spooky trail and get scared witless. But there's one thing Ripple hasn't counted on. Those legends aren't just talk. Evil really does wait in the woods. Soon the unsuspecting customers will pay their money and get in line to die. Okay, I'm going to talk about Ghost Walk. And I just finished it last night. It was a sequel to Dark Hollow. But in the, in the forward it says that you don't necessarily have to read Dark Hollow first. But uh, I think it, it is. It's almost like a direct sequel. And from what it said on the back, it really didn't give too much. It doesn't give really anything away. Which is good. But overall, um, I, I liked it, but I enjoyed Dark Hollow um, more because this, you know, it deals with the woods and the evil that's in the woods. It's just way more powerful and like all encompassing more than what was in Dark Hollow, which was just the, the Seder. Um, I didn't know what to expect, so I, I was kind of hoping maybe it would be along the lines of, of like a Sasquatch Bigfoot because they do say that there, there is a Bigfoot in the woods, but you never get a sighting or anything or something else. But in this one, it, it's just way more serious uh, to the whole, it threatens the entire world. And what I didn't like is that it has a character from Dark Hollow, Adam. And, you know, he's he's been through so much in Dark Hollow and then what happens to him. And this one, it was just really bad. I didn't like seeing him, you know, what happens to him in this one. Cause Dark Hollow, you really like him, he becomes a really good a character, a likable character, and he, he just goes through so much pain and suffering, and then what happens to him here is just, it, it just made me feel bad, and kind of not enjoy it as much. It was still a good read, and King, he's really good at characters, I'm starting to get into the way he writes more. And there's another uh, a character, ex-Amish guy named Levi, and he's really good. I mean, I don't really think I, I could, I don't know, get to know an Amish person and like them in real life or an ex-Amish person, but the team, he makes you like this guy. And he's like the main character of this. Um, again, oh yeah, and then the character of Ken Ripple, he was good. He's just not in it as much as I thought he was going to be in it. He's almost pushed aside for Levi and this other character named Maria, a reporter. I think that's her name, Maria, and Adam from Dark Hollow. Uh, and Kane is really good at like putting teams together. And, you know, you root for them, but they're so they're kind of different. But when they come together, they mesh really good. He's just a good writer, and I did enjoy Ghost Walk. It just made me feel bad knowing everything that Adam had been through with Dark Hollow and then what happens to him in this. But it was good to, you know, read about him again. But he's just so different now. <coughs> and then, like, he had his dog in Dark Hollow, Big Steve, and he's not in, he's not in this one. And it just it was you know, kind of depressing. It just made me, uh, you know, think about characters... From books or movies or comic books that you really like and you don't want to see them suffering but it, it was good I'm glad I read it and I got a lot more of Brian King books to read and then I'm gonna do reviews of some Edward Lee books like the Slither one I'm reading uh, one of his books called Brides of the Impaler and I'm gonna go back and forth between like King 
Lee, Richard Lehman, and try to get some Jar Lansdale in there. But this is just another, you know, good review for Keen. If you like to read, you know, if you like to read horror novels, Keen's he's just great. You can't go wrong with him. But if you get this, read Dark Hollow first, and then read this. It'd be much better. I'd say you don't read this one first. And um, see if there's anything else about this. Uh, it is pretty short. It's not too gory, but it is pretty horrific. But yeah, but don't expect too much gore or like a another satyr character or monster. It's something. It's evil, but it's just a little. It's a little more like um, nebulous or amorphous, like what they're fighting. But okay, that's about it. I'm going to end this, and I'll see you later.